Hello everyone, this is the Solving Library, and we'll be showing you different ways you can use the supplies included in your Paper Puppet Theater Craft Kit. Your kit comes with five pre-cut animal shapes that include a bird, a fox, a hedgehog, a rabbit, and a squirrel. Don't be afraid to use your imagination to create other animals from these shapes. Like this fox could easily be turned into a wolf. Included as well are five pre-cut shapes of people that you can use to tell your story or play. When starting to decorate, start by using your pencil to trace out your designs. That way, if you make a mistake or you don't like how it's coming out, you can easily erase it. Oh, I see there something there that I missed. And I don't like that. Ah, much better. You can use whatever you have at home to co to color your design your puppets such as crayons, colored pencils, or markers. Here are some examples of some that I did using the people shapes and animals. If you don't have any crayons, colored pencils, or markers, you can use the different colored paper that's included in your kit to help decorate your puppet. Here's some that I made with the other figures. What I did was grab a piece of colored paper I liked using the puppet to trace the outline then use a pair of scissors to cut it out. Please remember, if you're too young to use scissors, ask an adult for help. Then using glue or tape, I added the pieces together. Another thing you can do is make costumes for your puppets. Like I made some overalls to create this puppet into a farmer, or add extra hair for your animals, or update an already decorated puppet by cutting out a red coat to make Little Red Riding Hood. Another thing you can do is create new shapes with the extra paper, such as the Three Little Pigs, or Grandma from the Little Red Riding Hood. You could, you could use other things at home, such as stickers, fabric, or even flowers from your yard to help decorate your puppet. When you're finished decorating, turn your puppet over Then grab one of the popsicle sticks and using tape or glue, attach it to your puppet. This will be your handle. Don't worry if this breaks or if you need more because you can turn a pencil or pen or marker as a replacement. So have fun retelling your favorite fairy tales or create your own such as a magical rainbow rabbit that goes on adventures with his friends. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Zach. And now that you all know how to decorate your characters, I am here to show you some possibilities for creating your theater for your puppet craft. 
and we have everything ranging from very simple to medium and complex. So I'll show what we're doing and I will demonstrate building one of these. So here's the medium and here's our little puppet in front of there. So we'll do more on this one later because we'll show how to build this. The very simplest that you can do is really just a piece of cardboard with a scene on it. This is a shoebox and so you can just hold your character in front and play out a little scene. I cut this out of an old uh, art book, uh, but you can use magazines or you can draw your own scene. Just I used um, a glue stick just to stick that right on there and then you can play your scene out. You can hold this, you can put a little stand on the back, prop it up on your table and play your little scenes out. So that's the simplest ver version of the theater. And these curtains, this is the blue car, um, construction paper that comes in your craft kit. So that's what this is. And I'll show how to make these curtains when we demonstrate the other one. But this comes in your kit. Uh, obviously all these other parts you have to supply. That's why we're doing some options. So you can basically go with whatever you feel like making and how much materials you have in your house. So that's the simplest. The medium is basically just a box with holes cut in it so that you can have your character play out their scene there and um, again we, I have a backdrop that I, I cut out of, I think these are from magazines and I have a little clip up here so we've got this scene which is a nice little outdoor scene or oh this very very nice kitchen scene from a magazine. So looks like my character is in the kitchen. Looks like she's cooking up a nice dinner. So you can put these little backdrops on pieces of cardboard. And these are the pieces of cardboard that I cut out of the box. So always save everything. And then you can just, you just slide these in. Clip it on, and there's your backdrop. Again, I'm going to show you how to make this one. And then the most complex, and this is a, this would be a great project for you and the little ones to do together, planning it all out. If you really want to go big, you've got this big theater, the curtains open, and you have a lot of options with this one. You've got different places where the characters can come in and out. There we have a squirrel. And then up here. And then you could create these scrolls. Let's see if we can... So that the characters can move along. <laughs> I went too far. So that's the most complex one if you want just to show you guys the options. All kinds of things that you can be doing out here. So now let me, using the construction paper that was that's in your kit, let me make, let's make this medium one. Well, what's nice about this one is when you're using it, it hides your hand, so the scene, you're just looking at the backdrop and the, and the character, and you're not seeing my hand, it looks like the characters are right there. So that's why I like this one. And it's very simple, because all you need is a box. And what we're gonna be using to start is a cereal box. So that's all we need. So super simple. Um, something I discovered is that it's a good idea with all of these projects to leave the top open. And the reason, f the reason for that is so that light can come down and shine on your backdrop. If it's closed off on the top, it's too dark inside. So, the first thing we need to do is cut two holes in this box. One will be your stage, and one will be backstage, 
for your hand. So I am going to use, to do this, a craft knife. Kids, if you're doing this, make sure that your adults are handling the sharp implements. Um, so be safe. Uh, so I'm just going to use a craft knife to cut out. And don't worry about it being too, too pretty, because we're going to cover that. So that's gone, but we save this. Always save your raw materials because this will make a good backdrop. So we'll do that in a second. So there's our stage, and now we need backstage. So when you're cutting your backstage hole, make sure that it is no taller, the top of it isn't any taller than the bottom of the stage. So I'm going to look, and then there's my top. All right, stage, backstage, and then let's watch it work already. So it's already working. So this is as that's as, this is how simple things are. There's the fox running around. That's it. That's all we need, right? But now let's make it a little prettier, right? Let's make our curtains. Okay. So I'm going to take the construction paper that came with nice big piece and we are just going to very basically give ourselves an idea of what we want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark some overlap all right so what I did is I marked this actually much deeper then the curtains are going to be because this is going to wrap around the side of the box and glue to it. And then we're going to get the height. So we've got our rough idea. A couple of marks. And we're going to cut between those. Simple, right? Okay, so we'll need one more of those. So we just use the same piece as a template. Okay, so now we're going to take our curtains, line them up on the edge so that there's enough to glue down, and then figure out where it's going to fold over, and then just give it a nice crease. So we're creating these little angles. Do the same on this guy. Perfect, so now I'm just gonna take my curtain and I'm gonna just draw a little bit of what I think a curtain looks like on a stage. Maybe something like that. And then we can take our scissors, cut that shape out, kind of looks like a curtain. Okay, let's do the next one. Glue stick, very easy. Now the little ones don't they don't want to be handling the sharp things, but they can do glue stick stuff, right? So we're gluing it on the flat side that is going on the box. So now we have some curtains. Now that we have curtains, it'd be nice. Let's just cover this up so we're not looking at cereal. This isn't a this isn't a puppet play about cereal, is it? It might be. If it is, leave it. But if it isn't, you can just take what you've got left over, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a paper puppet theater. It's going to look good no matter what. 
You know why? Because you're making it. That's why it's going to look good. It's going to look good because you made it. And if you're making it with the little ones, then you have the pride of completion. We're looking at a theater. And if we want, we can decorate the theater with footlights, the orchestra, the audience, backs of the chairs. So there's our theater. Easy, right? And now in the background, we have our saved pieces. So this is going to be a play about a squirrel who is learning how to make pizzas in a big pizza oven. All right, that's a, a big pizza oven. So we take our backdrop, we slide her in, backdrop, squirrel, squirrels making pizzas in the big pizza oven. Look at that, we did that in five minutes. All right, so there we are. That is the, sim that's the medium box. This one hides your hand so you just see the little puppet moving. Uh, we have the more complex over here with moving scenes or we have the very simple just a little scene with some curtains. I showed you how to make the curtains and your characters can play out in this space. So those are our three theaters for your paper puppets. Hope you enjoyed. Let us know if you have any questions, and have fun playing in the theater.